Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and this is the cover of the book. This book was first printed in 2004, and then the second printing was in 2005. Not sure if this book is still available. If it is, it should be up on the church website at the store part of the website, and along with Brother James's other books, and I'll give you all that information at the end of the broadcast, and we have reached this third day of July, and the topic today is titled, And Esau. So we'll be going over this short little topic here on Esau, about Esau here. And uh, then tomorrow for the fourth, uh, will be t- titled, By Nature, A Child of Wrath. So we'll be going over that. And then talking about uh, Jacob here on the fifth and the sixth. So, so that'll be the messages for um, the next few days. So before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already, and that is the most important thing you can ever do is trust Jesus, believe on him by faith, and know that he went to the cross for you and died for your sins, and that you're lost and dead and trespassing the sin, and that you can't be saved any other way but through Jesus Christ, and it is a narrow way, and it's God's way, so if uh, any man has told you some other way to get to heaven, well, it's the wrong way, and you need to get that uh, uh, fixed there and, and believe the truth and what Jesus did on the cross, and it's nothing that you and I can do to be saved or to keep our salvation, and once you get saved, then Jesus keeps it for you. The Holy Spirit uh, dwells inside you and keeps it till the day of redemption, and that's your redemption of your body when you get the, your glorified body there in the heavenly places. So, And all that happens after you get saved, and um, he shows you how to live a Christ-like life by getting in God's Word and reading it and studying it and, and all that, and asking God to help you uh, with those things as you desire to live for him. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into today's topic for this third day of July, titled and Esau. <clears throat> so, Brother James writes here, he says, with Genesis twenty six thirty four, we leave the story of Isaac and Gerir and enter into a section which continues through the next chapter and onwards. This mention of Esau and his wives and of the bitterness caused to his parents by his marriages is preliminary uh, to the story of the uh, appropriation of the blessing, Esau's hostility, and Jacob's departure from home. So that'll be what um, is going to happen now for from um, the rest here, continuing forward. And here we have here, it says 40 years old. And Brother James's note here says this was the same age as Isaac had been when he married Rebekah. And that is found in uh, Genesis 25 verse 30. The ages of the patriarchs were far less than those which appear to have been obtained before the flood. And it says, see chapter 10, um, but were double what is the normal life of a man in modern times. So they lived longer uh, before the flood, and that was chapter 10. So I encourage you to look at chapter 10, or maybe we looked at that here in a few minutes after we're done with this topic here. So... Um, so there's that, it says, but, uh, so again, the ages of the patriarchs were far less uh, than those which appear to have been obtained before the flood, see chapter 10, but were double what is the normal life of a man in modern times. Thus, Abraham was 175, Isaac was 180, and that's 25-7 and 35-28, and Jacob 147, and that's uh, Genesis 47-28. So that Esau, at the age of 40, was a young man who might now be about 25. So, and that's uh, that little outline there. And then we have this next one here. It says, Judith, the daughter of Beri, B-E-E-R-I, Beri, the Hittite. And then Brother James says this about the Hittites. The Hittites were inhabitants of Canaan among the very people with whom Abraham had been so anxious that his sons should not intermarry. 24.3 of Genesis, uh, Esau carried 
nothing for his birthright, and by thus marrying a Hittite woman showed that he wished to abandon the pilgrim life to which his family had been called and to enter the life of the world. His marriage is likely to have been preceded by a close and lengthy association with the Hittites, at least with the family to which the lady belonged. Birek uh, would not have given his daughter to a stranger and a foreigner at that. He would not have given her to one whose ideals and outlook on life were the opposite of his own. This marriage is thus another proof that Esau was a profane man, that is to say, secular-minded, and the reference there is Hebrews 12.16, and so that is the two notes there on these two things about Esau, so, all right, amen, and so let's not uh, go the way Esau did, if you're a believer, that is, don't get uh, um, marrying an unbeliever, but we're supposed to marry another believer, especially a believer that's walking closely to the Lord. So, and uh, all that. Okay, so let's see here. Go back to this uh, first note here and talking about um, these patriarchs and how they were um, living longer than we do in modern times. And it said here to see chapter 10 of uh, Genesis. So let's look at that there. Genesis chapter 10. So let's see here. Read that really quick. Genesis chapter 10 and look at this. Alright, so Genesis 10, let's see here. Alright, so this is uh, not, okay, so there's 32 verses here, so we'll go ahead and read chapter 10 really quick so you can see here. Alright, so Genesis 10 says, Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood, the sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras, and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Rephath, and Togarma, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, uh, every one after his tongue, after their families and their nations, and the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Foot, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Seba, and ha Havilah, and, Seba, uh, and Sabta, and Ramah, and Sabtacha, and the sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dedan, and Cush begat Nimrod, he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and uh, Ur Urich, and Akkad, and Kalna, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth uh, Ash Ashur, and builded uh, Nineveh in the city Rehoboth and Kal Kala and R Risen between uh, Nineveh and Kala. The same is a great city. And Mizraim begat Ludim and Anamim and Lehabim and uh, Nephtuhim and Pathrasim and Kasluhim, out of whom came uh, Phil Philistim and Kaphtorim, and Canaan begat uh, Sidon, the, uh, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, uh, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Aravite, or Arvadite, uh, and Arvadite, and the Zimorite, and the Hamathite, uh, and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad, and the border of the Canaanites uh, was from Sidon, as thou comest to Ger Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Z Zeboim, 
even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations, unto Shem, also the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born, the children of Shem, Elam, and Ashur, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hol, and Gether, and Mash, and Arphaxad, begat Selah, and Selah begat Eber, and unto Eber were born two sons, the name of the one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan, and Joktan begat Elm Mudad, and Sh Shelef, and Hazar Mavith, and Jira, and Hadar Am, and Azal, and uh, Dikla, and Obel, and Abim uh, Ael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and ha Havilah, and Jobab, all of, all these were the sons of Joktan, and their dwelling was from Misha, as thou uh, goest unto uh, Sefer, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. So that's a lot of names there, and some I'm probably sure I didn't pronounce totally correct. But So that's uh, chapter 10 there from this first little note that Brother James had for today. And so we read that, and so that is the end of today's uh, topic. And tomorrow uh, for the fourth again is titled, By Nature, A Child of Wrath. So we'll go over uh, that here, um, talking about Esau some more. And then on the fifth and the sixth, we'll talk about Jacob. And the fifth is titled, Enter Jacob. And then the sixth is titled, The Times of Jacob. So there's that. And let's see here what's after that. So, all right. So then um, for the seventh and eighth, we have the seventh is uh, parental division. And then the eighth will go into venison, which is from Genesis 27, 7. So we'll start getting into Genesis chapter 27 and um, read that uh, chapter for you and stuff. So that's the topics for the next uh, four or five days there. So, all right. So that's it for today. And if you missed any of these uh, messages so far from throughout the year, you can go uh, check them out on the YouTube channel. That would probably be the easier way to, uh, to look them up instead of having to scroll down through the Facebook page. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you can just go straight to the YouTube channel and just look them up easier that way. And uh, if, um, I'm not sure if this book is still available, but if it is, you can find it on the church website, and that's www.jameswnox.org, or go straight to the store part of the website, which is store.jameswnox.org, and look up his books and other material that way, including his preaching and teaching from God's Word, both by Brother James and Brother David and the other men that teach and preach God's Word during the Sunday school hours and during times when Brother James is out of town traveling to other meetings and stuff. So so that's that. And then uh, the YouTube channel for the church is James Knox Sermons YouTube channel, where you can find all of the sermons in video format there, and then um, the radio broadcast in video format So um, that he does, the preaching of the cross. And he's been going over the book of James uh, this time around, and he finished up the book of Revelation a while back. So if you missed any of those, um, messages from the Revelation series. There is a lot of them. I believe he did that for like over the last two and a half years is when he has uh, done that. All those uh, messages there from Revelation from all the way from the first uh, chapter all the way to chapter 22. So, amen. Good, good set of messages there. So if you missed any of those, go back and check those out. And then the book of James that he's preaching and teaching on right now in the radio program. And then Brother David's doing his own um teaching and preaching from the book of James also during uh, the times when he's in the um, behind the pulpit. So check those out. Amen. And then for the um, broadcast that I do on the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or looking me up by typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel there. 
So this one is pre-recorded all the time. The other one is done live on Facebook and then uploaded to the YouTube channel, the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast there. So um, both of these uh, are available on those two uh, platforms there, and, um, Facebook or YouTube. So, all right, well, that's about it. And um, that uh, should be it. Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing, the, the Bible. We always need to make sure we get into the Bible, and read it, and study it, and show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, and going to God in prayer, and seeking his face, and asking him to guide you and direct you in all truth, and rightly divide the word, as I just said, and uh, have a good, solid relationship with the Lord, and other believers, so and get in a good Bible-believing church and all that, so and go out and be a bold witness and tell others about Jesus and what he did on the cross for you and for me, so amen. All right, we'll see you all next time, Lord willing, so bye-bye for now.